nighttime, but now with him dying there, I suppose yeah. uh, maybe not so much. He'll probably get active somewhere. Yeah, he's actually setting up a kid in the, uh, kill in the mid lane here. Boy Don't know if he has silence or not. He does not, it looks like, but they might be able to kill him. It's going to be close here. Yes, they do get him through the heel. Oh, it's going to come at a cost, though. Frost Shield ain't saving him there. As Sinister's Gaze pulls back in Immersion, Frost Blast and Lundrid able to, su to finish that up. So a double kill for him. Uh, that first hit entangle also helping things. It seems like he's yeah. getting fairly lucky with these bear hits. That's a really good position for Lundrid being. He's going a bear uh, range build, most likely. He built, picked up two Wraith Bands. He's now building Power Treads. Um, so he's just going to sit in the back and let his bear do good stuff. Now, this is, I think it's cool because of the fact that Lifestealer probably wants to go Midas into Radiance, when I think Lifestealer is probably a better carrier. But in the same vein, if you're playing ranged Lone Druid, your weakness is getting dived on. And if there's a Meepo on the enemy team, you have got to be worried going oh, yeah. to build Lady's Dream. But that said, though, maybe it's scary no matter what. Exactly. And it's just safer this way that if it's, he's just genuinely survivable here. Lich in trouble, though. There you go. Sprouted on up. Oh, not much you can do other than Frost Shield and hope for the best to Hawk. Trying to finish the job, unable to do so. Now he changes his attention to Crystallize, but with the Avalanche coming out. Now Nice Darker towards the party as well. Silence on top of that to Hawk. The one of his Meepos is getting low. Trying to run it back. Toss in the air, though. A couple more auto attacks. Into the Sprout block. And the same for the time being. Eats through, though, and he does go down. So trying to save him to Nature's Profit, but unable to do so. Spawn some trains, however. You see OD joining the party as well. Puts the banish on Blizzy. Ends up being the one for one with Lich for the Meepo. Of course, favoring Navi right there. Not done just yet, but I don't th think they're going to change not Crystallize. So, yeah, he'll be good. They turned on to Dahak. He thought he could uh, make some assistance there. Unfortunately, bit him in the ass. Yeah, I, th I thought he was going to live. It took forever to kill yeah. him. They don't have that many damage items yet, I suppose. But that's a uh, little Nature's surprise. He's, uh, he's in trouble, too. He does have that Vlad. So it was helping Meepo stay alive early in yeah. himself right there. But it still isn't enough. Immersion. Puts the boulder on through, but he's going to be run down by Lifestealer. Double kill for Crystallize. They will lose Night Stalker. Radiance timing here. Because normally if you take a fight right now and Lifestealer stays alive for like, I don't know, 10 seconds, it's Magical. a lot of damage. He gets caught. So, okay, the roar's going to work. It hits everybody actually, oh. but... Okay, clips. Up. They do get it. The ethereal play finished the job and half, and actually he's in a horrible spot. Oh, four on top of him. He may go down, but they are fairly clumped up. Uh, you see, Afterlife in the back lines cutting off Blizzy, but now Blizzy turns his attention back on top of him. Crystallize. He's got to run. He's, he's dodging he's nets. Trying to. He dodge he's more. trying to dodge nets. He gets the shrine off at least. And he's still going to be caught on, though. Gets a frost shield ever, pops the raid down. Immersion's going to end up dropping to Hawk. One of his uh, meeples is low. It's going to get picked off right there. So the Yate is bringing him back up, but he's losing. He's like, I can kind of do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Oh, they're going to be engaging. Chaos Knight, he pulls in Blizzy. It looks like, can they kill him before the split? And the evasion kicking in. He's trying to get it off, and he finally will. Will it was also helping. Immersion in the back lines. Got the magnetized. No, didn't even get the magnetized, actually. He goes down before he can do said thing. And now the chase from the Primal split. They lock down FNG. Easy kill onto him. Buyback from the Earth Spirit, though, so far. It's only the two damage. deaths, but the damage from the Metamorphs is auto attacks. Nice job with the Astral Imprisonment, putting his team in under, but Immersion, he's going to go for a tieback right here. Oh, Half-Nine oh, oh, goes down as well. As soon as he comes back out, the Aegis resurrects him in the time being to Hockey. He's running after Dur, but oh, back here, the split up with the Phantasm. Catches Blizzy. Blizzy does have a Primal Split. Can knock it. Yes, he gets, he gets it. it off in time at the last second. That is big. Earth Spray, they're also throwing down. The BKB wearing off a of Chaos Nine. He's going to the back lines. They lose Chen, but CK, he's going to be focused now. He wanted the kill on Kato. He couldn't even get it. They turn with the Metamorphosis of Terror Blade. Oh my God, dude. And once again, and he just melts away. Seneco's got this game. Every single time that somebody gets initiated on, instant Glimmer Cape. That's the only reason that Navi won this fight. Can they get this kill as well? Oh, turning Eclipse. around a little bit. That's a good damage right there. Blizzy is picked off. As Magical also goes down to the back lines to the Hawk. So Crystallize, does he still have Sunder? I believe he does, yep. So he is still ready to use that if necessary. In fact, Coddle's going to be picked up as well. So maybe it's looking decent okay. for Gambit all of a sudden. I mean, he's going on here. I don't <laughs> no know lift already happening and with will -Wiz put down OD. Gonna get hit by that immersion. Meanwhile, they pick off Connell back as that looks like to Hawk. He with the job there. He's going for the TP out though. He wants to get the hell out of it. Does not want to fight this. Nope, it's gonna be stopped or something. So he's forced to fight now. Hand of God gonna be used. The OD sanity these eclipse coming out too, but Chris Lice, he's got plenty of life. We are pretty zoomed out right here. Lone Druid in the back lines. He is staying alive. It's a link, but Crystallize no, again cannot get off the Sunder. The Sanity's in Eclipse. Just Ooh. too much damage. They, they call it. GG. Well, it's more right. than enough damage. Omni Slash, though, bouncing around. Is this over ambitious, though? Doesn't get a kill initially. Crystallize a spin. Nice job with the Wong. Gonna stay alive for the time being, but it's not enough. So it's not over ambitious. The Hawk just essentially won't be forward right there, and they could go for more half a nine. 
He's blinking in aggressively. Another blink to be off cooldown on five more seconds. Emergence already up there as well. Impel hits Chew. Blinding light pushback. Magical gonna join the party. I don't know if he wants to necessarily though. He will come in late. Pops out of the storm. There's a snowball for it. The hawk caught by it. He just simply runs away though. Immersion did go too far, it looks like. Spiked Carapace helping him for the time being. You see the heal ward. Giant Hunter's chasing it. Gamp finishes it. And the Sonic Wave connects on a three in the back lines. Tusk is down. Cottle gets picked off. The fight for Gambit looking superior right now. Blizzy is eventually going to get spun down. Gambit is just playing there with the blinding light. So he's in a horrible spot now because of that. And Nyx Assassin is killed. Now they use their big ultimate, or one of their several big ultimates to do so, and we're not done just yet. Omni Slash, Olan Razor, pops the Yulzo, he'll be fine, J jumps over to Blizzy, it's going back and forth, Wukong's command is throwing down, but the Hawk just doing too much damage, no! The Link comes out, Blizzy actually gonna live, never mind, Sonic Wave finishes the job in the back lens, looks like there's still more action happening as Afterlife, he popped the Phantasm, takes out Cottle, Razor's gonna get finished off with the Hawk, and Crystallize, he he's just gonna try to run away the best that he can, Chew. It's a lot more difficult for him. He gets caught initially. Spike Carefree is already throwing up. Walrus Punch connects onto him. And Agatha, you see that pretty massive feel. It got buffed recently, remember? The Link is up on Immersion, but magically he's running into a trap himself. Oh, Lewis put down, but Razor is going to fall. You have no BKB on him. He's going to fall. With Crystallize past his own BKB. Guess what? Not too good against Omni Slash, Ooh, though. I lost and my dollar. gets cut right there. <laughs> GG is called. You sure did. Yep, dollar's gone. <laughs> Never really stood a chance. Gambit.